South Central Iowa tonight here at the Knoxville Raceway, the sprint car capital of the world. As heat race number one gets set to make their way out into the staging area. Uh, uh, the four 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 like my dirt collection from all the tracks that I've raced at over the years. This one's Got Milk Nationals from when I raced Box Stock Outlaw Carts. This was one of my favorite tracks. I would know this dirt from anywhere. And this, I would know these two dirts from anywhere. I've always been very ambitious. I grew up doing a lot of sports. I was a black belt in Taekwondo. I used to like to write a lot in Korean. And I was also fluent in Braille. These are a couple of my favorite investing books. When I got into middle school, I fell in love with Warren Buffett through a book that I read and started going to his shareholders meetings. And after that, I built my own portfolio. And I love spelling. Like I, I wanted to learn how to spell the biggest word. Numina Ultra Microscopic Silico Volcano Coniosis. P-N-E-U-M-O-N-O-U-L-T-R-A-M-I-C-R-O-S-C-O-P-I-C-S-L-O-C-O-V-O-L-C-A-N-O-C-O-N-I-O-S-I-S. It's an inhalation of a very fine silica dust causing inflammation of the lungs. I mean, everything she's done has been a bit off. <laughs> Most kids wear Jonas Brothers t-shirts and she was wearing Casey Kane t-shirts. I was out to eat with my family and there was a guy signing autographs and later found out it was Casey Kane. And that's when I fell in love with racing. I thought it would do her some good just to get in the car and realize there's a lot more to it and then maybe it'd scare her and she would be done with it. It was just totally the opposite. Hey, hey. Woo, woo, woo. We'll hey. Your winner, McKenna Hesse is a victor. Hey. McKenna goes right to the top of turn number two and leads him down the back straight away. I made it my goal to be the first female to win at Knoxville. Hassie upside down. But then I was in a really bad crash. You guys think it looks scary up there? You see it from down here. I had a concussion. And when I got out of the hospital, I pretty much was just in bed for probably about a week or two, and I would just sit there like all day, all night. I never really slept. The way I would describe it is like when you close your eyes, you see darkness. When I would close my eyes, like I would see a darkness darker than that. It was really awful. I wasn't able to race. So rather than just sitting around being frustrated, I decided to do something about it. I came across a go-kart for sale, so I decided to spend my time building this car. And as I was building, everybody always asked who I was building it for. I didn't really have an answer, 
So I finished the cart and I decided to give a kid the opportunity to race that wouldn't receive one otherwise. I founded Compass Racing Development LLC when I was 17. At the time, I was volunteering in my old elementary school. There was a little boy in my class by the name of Gage Stevens, and Gage drew a picture of a race car. I asked his teacher, I said, hey, is Gage a race car driver? And she said, I think his dad took him racing, but I don't really think his dad's around. I started racing go-karts when I was about 14 years old. Raced them off and on for close to about 25 years. I loved doing it, but I knew it would come to an end one day, especially, you know, not too long after I had my own son and, and then we could get him into it. But five years ago, my father passed away and that took a hard toll on me. You wake up and you're like, I don't really have anybody to turn to. We all got a right choice to make and a wrong choice to make. And I made the wrong one. I didn't want to deal with the pain. I wanted to be numb. I turned to opiates. Eventually, opiates got harder to get a hold of. And then somebody tells you, well, hey, heroin's a lot like opiates. Try it out that one time and hell, you're hooked. You go down deeper and deeper every single day. You've ruined every relationship that you've ever had in your life, but you don't know it because you're addicted to drugs. Next thing you know, I stole some property so I could sell it and go get money to get that next fix. Eventually, it caught up to me and landed me right in jail. It's hard not having a father in your life. It's just somebody that's always supposed to be there, but sometimes he's not, and that's the case for me. It took a big toll on me, for sure. You're mad and sad at the same time. You want to be angry, but you're also sad. He just wanted his dad. Because when Brad was there, he was a good dad to him. And for him to kind of like fizzle out and disappear was hard for Gage. But then I got this phone call from this girl named McKenna. She said she had an opportunity for Gage to race and sat down at our kitchen table and offered us this incredible opportunity. Usually you'd start a racing development program when you're rich and famous and not when you're a teenager, you know? I was very concerned. Just for the phase that she was in her life, I didn't see how she could possibly have time. This is my senior year of high school. My goal was to come back and win at Knoxville for the first time. I was also working towards being valedictorian. I leave for work at about 6.30 in the morning. I would come downstairs and she would be down at her desk at 6.30 in the morning and she hadn't gone to bed. But she wouldn't give it all up. She was trying to do it all. What name is on that? <laughs> She showed up with Gage and a car that she had put together just for him, and they started racing. It was, it was really good. We could just watch him progress. It was sometimes incredible to look down the row of pits and see all these dads working on their kids' cars, and then see me, this young girl, working on Gage's car. There were some people thought it was straight. That doesn't look right. He went on to win every race that season except for one. We really had something cool brewing. To have somebody kind of make his dream come true is better than having your own dreams come true. She's like your little angel. I did go on to win at Knoxville. Knoxville race win. Can you feel it? McKenna has to get the win. The first lady to ever win a feature race at Knoxville race win sprint car is McKenna Hassey. It was just a huge blessing and a huge gift from God, and I'm just so grateful and I did end up graduating as valedictorian the very next day. Proud of you. Thanks, Dad. Way to go, girl. Thank you. I just continued to be a good mentor for Gage, <laughs> and I think the racing provided not only a distraction for Gage, it also became 
a goal for his father, too. To not be there, to be able to watch him be successful, is one of those moments that you sit there and think about when you're in jail. I sat there and thought, I've got a, an amazing son that probably disowns me. If you're any bit of a father, you're going to get your together and, and make it right when you get out, you know? So that's what I did. It was hard, but it's worth it. Shauna had come to me about Gage's dad and said that he had been doing really well and had had this miraculous turnaround in his life and would like to help with Gage's racing. It really caught me off guard at first. It kind of hit me like a brick wall and I was like, whoa, okay. But if there was one thing that I knew every single day for the three years that he drove for me, it was that he wanted nothing more in the world than to go racing with his father. That's something you've always wanted, huh? Yeah. Yeah, you know, I always, I have always known that you were so excited to race with your dad. Yeah. So that's what I was always hoping for too, you know? Yeah. Even though like, I'll always be here for you too. I'll always help you if you need it. But as long as you two are good racing together, then I'm gonna support both of you too, huh? Yeah. And they went racing. He won his first race with his father and went on to win 20 races that year and three championships and one national title. Oh, I'm gonna... It was a little crazy. Because you don't really expect it again. Sorry. Uh-huh. You expect that he'll just <laughs> stay away here or something. But he wanted to bring back what he left. You gotta unhook this throttle linkage right here and unhook your fuel line. And then now, when you pull the motor off, you can get your other bullet ready for tonight. You know, I'm glad we get to do this together, bud. Me and you, it's great that we get to do this all as a family and enjoy every moment of it. It's amazing. Yeah. Welcome back to English Speedway. We're happy to have a Friday night to go racing. Once again, we do appreciate you coming out tonight, spending your Friday night here with us. As we get set to go qualifying. Okay, you listening? Yeah. You just go on with your, your business, okay? Okay. No throwing fits. Okay. I'm gonna keep my cool, you keep your cool. You know, it's that simple. Okay. All right? He's done a really good job. Honestly, I think it's just a miracle that he's made the turnaround that he has. Track all rough, real rough. It, it's not really the mud, it's some ruts. Like, there's a rut going into one and two, and then a few down the back stretch. The track's going to come around a little bit, let it smooth it out, and be OK. All right, love okay. you. Love you. You want to hang out with your dad, and racing is just a fun way to hang out. You can go win this? That's right. Oh, and this is 12 laps is the race. This is yellow lights are off. Green flag is in the air. For me, the racing is basically my sobriety. I don't have the time to think about going back to the drugs, going back to the crappy life that I lived. Still your leader, Gage Stevens. I'm very grateful for McKenna. To go help my kid get on a racetrack and do some racing was just amazing. McKenna gave me the motivation to make the right choices, to turn life around, and to better myself, and to better for my family. I feel like he's got a great father now. We, we get to do everything in the world together. 
luckily I was able to turn this life around and, and go make these memories and, and these moments with my son. Good run, dude! Woo! You the man! To have what me and my son have right now, if I don't have that, I, I couldn't imagine life without it. Proud of you. Thank you. Love you. Me and him doing this racing is is what makes life what it's all about. After Gage, I put together four more carts like Gage's and became a coach and mentor for four other children. And then the program just kept expanding. So this is our new member to Compass Racing Development. His name is Lucas Pence and he's seven years old. This is his first race, his first time in the car. Lucas Pence, he will be racing in honor of his mother who passed away in February um, from brain cancer. Just an amazing little boy. We're really excited. When I do this, I want you to just come up a little ways and when I do that, I want you to use your brake and stop, okay? Go slow. Come here. Come on. Come on. Brake. There you go. Something terrible happened in Lucas's life, but we're gonna try and be positive and we're gonna go racing. <laughs> Look at him. Go, Lucas, go, go, go. Good job, buddy. That was awesome. That's where McKenna is really good with the kids. It's not all about winning all the time. Man, that's a pretty suit and shoes. To give back, that's McKenna Hasse. I'm a firm believer that if I would have waited my entire life to give back, waited until I made it in racing to do this, then I don't believe I would have done my life right. Thanks for coming. Oh, you're welcome. Good job, buddy. Thank you. I'm so proud of you. We're here for such a short time, and at every single age, we have an opportunity to make a difference. And it doesn't matter how much money you have. It doesn't matter how famous you are, how many wins you've had. Everybody has a chance to make a difference.